Okay, I'm just waiting on the notification. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this afternoon. We have a great guest, one who I'm very uh, honored and humbled would come give us some information as well as some inspiration. And Brother Fred H. Muhammad, assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaikum uh, salam. Brother Fred, um, you're a very private person, a quiet person, you know, so this means a lot to us that you, you know, we can see the man behind the, the face. We always see you holding posts and being serious. So this gives a, uh, this means a lot to us, bro. Yes, sir. Okay, well, the first thing we want to know is how how did you first hear the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Um, in 1991, I was 12 years old, sitting in my grandmother's basement playing my Sega Genesis. And one of my cousins who was 12 at the time as well, uh, my cousin Derek Hodges, what we called him Scooter, his nickname Scooter. He comes in the basement talking this black Muslim stuff at the time. You know, I'm 12 years old, I ain't want to hear that, you know. Uh, but he was, you know, persistent with it, you know. So one day, you know, I said something foul. And, you know, that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. And he just, you know, got a little angry with me and told me, you know, I, I can prove my God is real. Mm. It will be your God is real. Mm, mm. So, you know, I told him, you know, Grandma got a picture of God in, in the living room. <laughs> you know, the, that, that white Jesus in the Victoria's Secret. Down, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, he was like, "Nah, man, that ain't that ain't God." He said, "I can show you in the Bible what God looked like." Mm. So you know, he told me in the Bible that he had hair like lamb's wool, skin color brass burnt in the oven. I said, "Hey, that don't sound like no white man to me." Mm, mm. I said, "Well, then show me a picture of your God, then." Mm, mm. So you know, the next weekend, go to grandma's house again. Came with this picture, so I looked at the picture for a minute, and I was like, "Man." Something about this man in his picture, but he ain't got hair like lamb's wool. And his skin ain't, he ain't black, you know. So he began to teach me about Master Farad Muhammad. Mm, mm. And after he got through teaching me about him, I fell in love with him. Mm, mm. So I asked him, I'm like, man, where's Master Farad Muhammad at? Where is he? He said, man, you know, nobody don't know. I said, well, is it somebody teaching what he taught? He said, yeah. I said, who? He said, Elijah Muhammad. So he started mm-hmm. teaching me about Elijah Muhammad. Okay, okay. So I told me about him. I fell in love with him. So I'm like, man, Scooter, where, where is Elijah Muhammad? He's like, you know, at the time, he didn't know. He said, man, unfortunately, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is dead. I said, well, is this somebody teaching what he taught me? He said, yeah. I said, who? He said, I'm going to take you to go see him um, Monday night. I said, hey, you can't tell me who it is? He said, no, oh, I'm, 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 I want to be a surprise. So, you know, at that time, that was the, when the movie Malcolm X was coming out, and it was a lot of controversy about the minister, Malcolm X. So he was wise enough to not to tell me about the minister because of all the controversy and the propaganda. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I went home. I told my mother, I said, Mom, I want to go to the mosque Monday with Scooter. She said, oh, boy, you ain't going to no mosque. Knock out anyway. So I went to the mosque. They separated us, you know, who here for their first time, you go in this classroom. So they put this tape on that showed the minister how he rebuilt the nation from nothing. So as I was watching the video, I started crying. And one of the brothers Mm. asked me, he said, Little brother, what you crying for? I said, Man, they lied to me about this man. Mm. They said he killed Malcolm and he took over the nation. But I didn't know about this history. Mm. So, you know, I went home, opened up the refrigerator, and I started throwing that pork away, man. Mm-hmm. My mother said, boy, you don't throw my pork away. You can practice that stuff, but you ain't finna throw my pork away. So, you know, my mother wouldn't let me join. But from that point on, I consider myself a follower of Elijah Muhammad. But I didn't become a registered believer until 2001. Mm. And it's the story behind that too, as well. We want to hear. We want to hear. What's the story? What's the story? From the age of twelve to uh, twenty, you can consider me like I was like a backslide Muslim. You know what I'm saying? I was had one foot in the street and one foot in you know as a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You know, but uh, you know, one day I came out of town and I was walking home. 
And I heard this guy say, hey, stop. So I turned around, three guys got out the car, and they all had guns. And they was robbing me. So, you know, as they was dragging me to the alley, I thought, you know, this was it. So I so I, I said to myself, I started saying the al Fatiha to myself. So when I was saying it, the brother stopped, hit me over the head with the gun. They got back in the car and drove off. So fast forward a week later, the same cousin that introduced me to the teaching, he come home from school. He went to Tennessee State in um, Nashville. Okay. So okay. at this time, he was a registered believer. So he comes in town. He say, Fred, I, I heard you got robbed, man. I'm like, yeah, I, I got robbed, cuz. He say, I'm going to come pick you up Sunday, man. I said, where we going Sunday? He said, hey, we going to the mosque, man. So, you know, took me to the mosque. We get to the mosque. Mr. Ishmael spoke up that Sunday. And, you know, I've been at the mosque ever since, Chief. Thanks, me so much. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. It might sound funny, but I think a lot got robbed that night. Because yeah. I yeah. You know, See, I, I never knew you. I, been. I didn't know you get robbed because being from, you know, the mean streets of Naperville, where I grew up at, uh, <laughs> by, the time I, by the time I met you, you know, the, the streets were called, you kill a friend. So I can't, I can't picture somebody robbing killing friend. Like, I don't even know how that happened. Hey, man, how you get caught slipping? Hey. You know, I yeah, I was a little under the influence, you know, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I had a little, you know, that uh marijuana in me, you know, I wasn't on my square, you know. So. Okay, yes sir, yes sir. Well, did you have you um once you joined, did you were you able to ever go back and get people from from like where you lived and around that area to accept you, accept the teachers? Man, when I first was introduced to the teachers, you know, you know, a lot of people, you know, they made mockery of it. But like recently, like this year, a lot of my friends and family members opened up and Very told me cool. how, you know, as I was growing up, even though I had the teachings, I, you know, the streets had a little pull on me. But, you know, certain family members wouldn't let me go too far. And they just opened up this year and told me, I give you this story, my uncle used to, you know, do things with my other cousins. So I would ask my uncle, man, why you ain't never come get me? He said, man, Elijah Muhammad got you young. I couldn't do nothing with you. Mm, mm, it was just mm. the respect of the nation and the teachings. They will not let me go too far. So, you know, Crazy that's, that's what it, it was. You know, a, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of people opened up and tell me, especially this year, how they, they, they liked the way I stuck with the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I never, you know, I wasn't afraid to tell people I was a Muslim follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad or I was the minister, you know. I don't hide that from nobody. Praise be to Allah. Beautiful. And when you came in the mosque, what was it like? Like like the training? How because ever since I, you know, got to really encounter you, you always been on front rush, I'm always, you know, being on security. So how did like how did you how did that process happen? Oh man, that was man, I I, I gotta uh, you know, when I came in the mosque, I was Uncle Benny took me under his wing, man. You know, you know when you met me, who you met me through, Benny Jr. Yeah, and all yeah. that. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. So he took me under his wing, uh, trained me, taught me. You know, taught me how to be professionally paranoid. Uh, <laughs> you know, hey, 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 as Uncle Benny say, ain't nothing spooky, man. Ain't nothing spooky. Uh, <laughs> nothing spooky. Yes, sir. Love that brother, man. Yes, sir. That I man, do, man, he, he, he. he it's like he, I was one of his sons, you know, Praise you know, Uncle Benny, he don't yes, invite sir. everybody to his house. Absolutely. So it was like an honor for me. You know, it was like, it was like I grew up with y'all, you know, yes, and yes, I sir. could yes, uh, relate to y'all because I got the teachings at such a young age. So it was like, y'all made me like I was one of you all. Like, Praise like I was in the junior FOI with y'all and everything. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. So okay, well. It was Uncle, well, Uncle Benny. Okay. Uh, my big brother, brother Richard, twelve X Muhammad, yes, who's in charge of the front roster in Chicago in the national team. He taught me a lot, man. So many other brothers, uh, man, uh, a lot of brothers, but those two brothers they really played a lot in my training. And also, I can't leave out Grandmaster, the Assistant yes. Supreme Captain Abdul Aziz. Yes, sir. He used yes, sir. to have us in that masala burning that midnight oil training for that front rush, you know? So I thank a lot for him as well. Praise me to a lot. But there's so many brothers to name, you know, my early, my early uh, training. But 
you know, it's, it's a lot of other brothers that, that helped me with training, too, brothers on the E-team that, that's, that's helped me training as well. Beautiful. And what was it like for you, uh, your first in, encounter with the Muslim Islam 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 Islam? Man, I, don't, I ain't have really too many one-on-one -on -one, uh, type of encounters, but anytime I'm around him, I try to keep my mind blank. You I don't try to, sir. you know, think too much because, man, the minister is a god. Yes, sir. He's he been made a god in our eyes. So, you know, okay. God has given him that ability with the radio in the head. So, you yes, know, sir. I try to keep my thoughts, you know. I try to go uh, Forrest Gump, you know. <laughs> I don't want him to pick up on none of my, you know, thoughts that shouldn't be in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, any, anytime I'm around him, you know, I, I don't come around him unless I'm invited. And I'll give you this one story. We was at the farm and, uh, and I was standing off in the distance and the minister saw me. And, you know, my heart stopped when he saw me. And the minister went back doing what he's doing. Then he looked back where I was at again. And he said, who's that brother over there? I was like, oh, man. <laughs> so the brother was like, that's Brother Fred, Brother Minister. He was like, Brother Fred, Brother Fred, is he going with us? And they was like, yes, sir, brother. He said, well, come on, friend, let's go. So, you know, <laughs> he invited me. I came, you know. You so, say, you say. And, and what made what made my day that day, later on, Sister Mary Ellis told me when they was on the bus, man, I see that brother around all the time, but I just can't remember his name. And Sister Mary Ellis said, the minister said, oh, that's Brother Fred. <laughs> it just made me feel good. Like, he's been knowing me all my life, you know? But it just made me feel good. It's and it's man, it's all praise is due to Allah, man. It's, it's, it's an honor to serve the Nation of Islam and Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. It's an honor and a privilege, man. You know, I never, coming up, I never thought I'd be doing what I'd be doing for the nation of Islam and the ministry. It's, it's an honor and a privilege and a blessing. Praise be to Allah. I just, I just thank Allah. I thank Allah and I thank the Honorable Ms. Luz Farrakhan for giving me the opportunity to serve as I serve. Beautiful, okay. My uh, sisters say send the greetings, both say ASA family, peace family. Um, and Brother Isaac Baker X said, all praises to Allah. Praise be to Allah. Okay, Brother Fred. Brother Fred? Yes, sir. Okay, is, yes, sir. is, your, is, your, is your screen frozen? A little bit. But I, we do that. It's freezing a little bit. Okay, yes, I have to make sure we good. Okay, my next question is, has there ever been a time that you were faced with fear? And if so, how did you overcome that fear? Uh, I don't think I ever had a time because, like I said, coming up on my Uncle Benny, he didn't play that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, when, I, when I first started holding the front roster, when I was on the front roster team, Uncle Benny used to tell me, you know, you call for relief, you look up. <laughs> so I never called for relief. <laughs> as long yes, as I sat for the roster all the years. I, I never called for relief, mm, mm. you know, so, you know, you can, you know, couldn't be no punk, man, you know, coming up, you know, I, 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 I sitting in front of Ross from all those years, you couldn't be a punk up there because you got to be willing to give your life or take a life, you know, so, okay. couldn't be scared sitting up there. Praise be to a lot. And um, just Nicole Talbot says, ASA family, like him some mom. Okay, hold on one second, but I gotta make sure uh, this video. I want you, I want people to be able to see you. Oh, let me stop that. And um, hold on, wait. okay, but Fred, can you can you see? I mean, can you move around now? Is it okay? Boom. Okay, so I'm waiting on Brother Fred to come on back. Um, thank you all for watching the People's Podcast. This is Nicole, everyone who has tapped into the People's Podcast today.
with our brother, Brother Fred uh, from Chicago, as he gives us this great history in his life's journey. Okay. You still you there, Josh? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm trying to. Uh, I can hear you. I'm just trying to. Um, I can't see you though. Is it? Hold on. Let me. So I can see you. Yes, sir. I, I mean, we can't see you though, so I'm trying to get the uh, video with it. Can you see me? Uh, uh... I'm asking you, can I start the video? Okay, well, we're waiting on Brother uh, Fred to, to get his video fixed. I want to thank everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe uh, to People's Podcast. Hey, you got it, Brother Fred? I can see you. I know, I keep I keep asking you, can I start your video? Um, okay, we're waiting on Brother Fred to come right on back. Boom. Thank everybody for watching the People's Podcast as we get this great history of Brother Fred H. Muhammad um, and his experiences in Chicago. Excellent. Boom. I don't know what's going on. Come on, Brother Fred. <laughs> Do you get the notification that I'm asking you? Can you start the video? I'm actually on. I can see you. But I can't see you. That's what I'm saying. Can you can you start your video though? Uh, let me start it over. Hold on. Okay, waiting on Brother Fred to start his video. Also, we have two amazing guests uh coming up tomorrow. Um yeah, some some great guests coming up uh on tomorrow. Here we go. Boom. Come on, Brother Fred. <clears throat> okay, working on Brother Fred. Brother Fred apparently has some West Side of Chicago Wi-Fi uh, going on right now. All right, come on, Brother Fred. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay, come on, Brother Fred. Come on, come on. But I just say that's his brother from the west side. Of my and thank you. Okay, boom. See, there we go. Refer is all good. Okay, now I gotta just uh, get the mic, Refer. If you can just turn the mic on, we good to go. I got you. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Refer. My okay. So my next question for you is, when did you go from seeing the most ominous Louis Farrakhan as maybe someone who was an activist or a leader to someone who was in fact divinely guided? Wow. Uh. It was through study, but to be up close and personal to see him move the way he moves on the occasions I've been around him, that's when I really saw him for who he was. Praise be to him. I remember one time we was in Detroit and uh, the minister had, had just finished and a sister just wanted to touch the minister. She said, I just want to touch him. And it just took me back to the to the scriptures when they just wanted to touch the hem of his garment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the brothers, you know, let the sister, you know, greet the minister. And then after she greeted the minister, she looked at me and told me, y'all just don't know what y'all got. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from that point on, you know, seeing the minister move and how the people reacted to him, especially when he went into the neighborhoods. And, you know, that's when I was, when I first started, you know, being able to work on the detail with the minister. And I seen how the people in the streets reacted to him. I mean, like the hardest of the hard. I'm talking yes, about sir, yes, sir. The, 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 the homeless people, the, the drug addicts. I mean, brother, man, chief, hey, when Kanye West said Jesus walks. Yes, sir, man, yes, sir. All praise is due to a lot, man. That man is amazing, you know, and, uh, Man, you know, before we got on the air, you had asked me about my son. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Story. I really don't talk about this, but I just want to bear witness to who the minister is. Uh, I can't remember what year this was. It was a believer's meeting. 
Yeah, three day believers meeting. On the third day, I didn't do security. So they sat me in the balcony at the mosque. And the minister was talking. I can't remember who he was talking about, but it was a brother and sister was having problems conceiving a child. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was going through the same thing. And the minister was talking and he said, he looked up to where I was. And, and I had this thought in my head, like, man, I'm going through the same thing, man. And he said, brother, when Allah say be, it'll happen. And he went back to what he was talking about. And I was like, man, what the hell he talking to me? Like, man, two months later, my son. Praise be to Allah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, man, I, I, man, that man is that man is who he who he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely Jesus, man. And and just studying on how the honorable Elijah Muhammad said that. Allah didn't make his mouth to speak idle words. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. His mouth was made to speak the will of Allah. Oh, Allah. And that's the same thing with the minister. You know, he, he, he spoke the will of Allah. You know, so, man. And, speak, and speaking of your son, you, you seem to be doing such a great job uh, always with your son. And what advice would you give to future fathers? Man, uh, man be, be an example. You know, don't talk it, walk it. Uh, Man, I just tell you the story about, you know, the man in my life, my father, you know, he didn't do too much talking. He just sh showed me an example to learn from his mistakes. You know, as I got older, he told me about his mistakes. My grandfather, with, with you know, with our carpet business, you know, hey, that, that my grandfather may a lot be pleased with him. He'll never die, you know, because he, he, he had a trade that he put in his sons and his sons put in his grandsons. Yes, sir, and yes, he, didn't, he didn't keep the trade to himself. He, he shared it with some of the brothers I grew up with, other cousins. And he, you know, man, my grandfather was like a, 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 my own personal Elijah Muhammad as far as yes, sir. carpet goes. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I call him the carpet god, you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> he, he was a god, man. And he produced, yes, he produced you know, he reproduced himself. So that's the advice I give the fathers, man, being a great example for your children, you know, you know, teach them like one of the brothers, brother Kareem um, Abdullah, um, he, he he taught me something that, that, that stuck with me. He said that uh, we shouldn't too much dwell on teaching our children what not to do. We should dwell on what teaching them what they should do. Yes, sir. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. Okay, and I just excellent. think, and I just think a lot that I had, a, you know, a strong father and a super strong mother, man. My mother was hard on me, chief. She was, yes, man, brother. My mother, she didn't let me do nothing, chief. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing. I think a lot for that, though, brother. I, I, I turned out pretty good. Praise be to a lot, brother. Praise be to a lot, yes, sir. Man, um, my sister Naima says I praise to a lot. My sister Miriam says beautiful. Advice and Brother Deshane. So like Brother Deshane says all praises to Allah, his brother. And Brother Deshane, we look forward to your interview as well. Uh Brother Fred, um, well, speaking of fathers, um, are you single? Yes, sir. And as a single brother, what are you what are you looking for, you know, in, in a wife? Man, oh, that's a good question, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question, man. Uh yeah, that's a good question. Oh, uh, man, uh, as my mother taught me, you know, uh, you want to marry somebody that's equally yoked, you know, I mean, you know, like you said, I, I'm a private person. I don't do too much. You know, I keep to myself, you yes, see, you know, I only mess with a, you know, a small group of people, you know, I, you know, like I said, Uncle Benny rubbed off on me, him and his son, you know, they rubbed off on me, you know, I kind of keep to myself, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, uh man, you know, I just like, you know, a down earth person that loves a lot in his Christ and a Jesus that's family oriented. You gotta be family oriented. Yes, sir. You know, I got a big family. I love my family. Uh okay, okay. You know, uh somebody that's not spooky. <laughs> I can't I can't deal with that spookism, man. Shit. <laughs> 
Man, I can't deal with that, man. You know how yes, that sir. is. We wasn't yes, spooky. We ain't spooky. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that and man, I just somebody that that's that's a Muslim, man. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. So when your DMs uh, start going crazy and your inbox blow up, just know that you know I, I'm just happy that I could somebody who could you know throw you out of you. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Yeah, you know I'm real picky, man. My mother made me that way. I'm real picky, you know. Uh, I just had a. My mother is the man. I thank a lot for her, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, she's man. My, my mother, man. I I don't have the words to describe that lady. That that woman raised me. Man, she prepared me for the minister. Yes, know? sir. She, yes, sir. Yes, sir. She wasn't. She wasn't for it at first, but. She saw where the teachings brought me from, you know. Me so. Man, I, I want somebody like my mother, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. She, she loved God, and I never thought I'd see the day she stopped eating pork. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thank a lot for my mother, man. My little sister, my baby sister, she stopped eating pork when she was 12. Mm. She had four beautiful children. They never had the swine. Praise my so. son never had the swine. I got... A plethora of cousins that never held the swine. I, I just, man, to all the believers, especially the, the new believers, man, hold fast to the rope of Islam. Yes, sir. As the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, because in the end, you will be the winner. I bear witness to that. You know, oh, you'll be you'll be surprised who is watching you, and how much they admire you in their heart, even if they fake it like they don't admire you in their heart. They do. You know, so, so you know. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, beautiful teaching. Okay, so my friend, speaking of your teaching, will you ever go into the ministry? And wherever Allah guide me, you know, <laughs> wherever He guide me, you know, I'm man. Wherever He He guide me, you know, I I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now. You know, all praise is due to Allah, man. Yes, sir. I just, what, what I, just you... I just love to serve the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and Nation of Islam, man. I just think a lot. I just think a lot for those who came before me. You know, I thank all them brothers, prior to seventy five and, and after seventy five. Yes, man, sir. Yes, brothers, sir. Man, them brothers, man, they sacrificed so much for the nation, and you know your father, man, your yes, mom. Sir, sir. Man, you know, I thank a lot for them, man. They 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 paid the way for me to do what I'm doing, and I pray to Allah that I can make a road for my son. You know. So all praise is due to Allah. Praise be to Allah. And brother Fred, what do you do for fun? Uh, nothing too much. Nothing, nothing spectacular. You know, I'm an introvert, man. You know, this yes, this sir, pandemic, yes, this pandemic don't hurt me. <laughs> I stay in the house anyway. You know, you know, I have a little fun. I ain't no dancer, none of that. You know, you know how they say gangsters don't dance. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I ain't no gangster no more. <laughs> You know, but uh, you know, mm -hmm. I don't do too much, man. You know, I like I like to be at home with my family, my son. I love raising my son, man. It's it's an honor to 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 mold a, a mind. You know, to raise. I uh, I just remember. I just want to share this. I remember, man. Uh, I got I got hurt on my job, and I couldn't work. And Man, I ain't had no money coming in. You know, I lost my apartment. Car, I lost everything except for my faith in God and my son. But, man, those are the best times of my life, man, to raise my son, to be there with my son every day, you know, you know, slide a little, you know, Islam in him every day. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Man, I, I thank a lot for my son, man. I, I want to I want to share this story. Yes, sir. The power, the power of God, man. You know, I, I took my son to preschool one day. I picked him up. And you know, he had a substitute. So I guess a substitute didn't know he ate pork. I saw the pepperoni pizza sitting on his uh, plate. I said, Oh, thank Allah he didn't eat that, man. Shit. <laughs> so, I, so I say, Man, son, why you eat the pizza, son? He said, My mind told me not to eat it. Mm, mm. I said, Damn. Praise man, all praise is due to Allah. These babies, man. They born for the Messiah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just try to pour 
is all my love into him that I have for the three, Master Farah Muhammad, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan into him. Yes, and sir. I want him to take, take that to Mars, you know. Beautiful. All praise to Allah. Praise to Allah. Excellent. So, Brother Fred, what is your favorite album of all time? You don't want to know, man. You know. I want to know. I want to know for real. What's your favorite? I don't. I don't. I don't have no. You know, I really don't listen to too many people, man. I listen to a lot, a lot of local people, man. I listen to a little Bump J. Okay, know. I'm gonna say Bump J. Okay. You know, I, you know, I can relate to him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, we you know some of the same people. You know. Yes, uh, Man, uh, you know, I like DMX. I don't have no favorite all time album, but I like, I'm a fan of DMX, you know. Okay, DMX. Uh, but I'm I'm a local guy, you know, like L.E.P. Okay. Uh, you know, I like them little youngers, you know. Uh, I'm gonna say, you don't like little Bibby, no drill music, no Chief Keef, none of them. Uh, yeah, a little, little bit, not too much, but you okay. know, I kind of like, you know, the New York cats, you know, Pop okay. Smoke and, and Okay, I like possible. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I listen, yeah. I listen to a little of that. See, ain't nothing spooky, man. See, <laughs> I can't be around those spooky people, man. That you know, you know, holier than thou. That listen to gospel music all day long. Like, <laughs> nah, you know, I still got a little hood in me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I'm sir. From, I'm from South side of Chicago, <laughs> I got a look. I got hood in me. You know. Yes, sir. You know, and, and one one thing about me and people that know me, I'm I'm, I'm the same at the mosque as I am at home. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, all praise is due to Allah. Praise man. Due to Allah. Okay, my friend, what do you want your uh, legacy to be? <sighs> man, uh, it's funny you asked that. I, I heard the minister say, "Man, you know, we shouldn't too much think on that as we alive, but just to, you know, I." I think about legacy, I think about like well, my grandfather, like I said earlier, he had never die as long as one of his children is laying that carpet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, man I, that's that's how I want to be. I want to continue his legacy. So, you know, I to show you how st strong legacy is. I remember me and my uncle went to get a contract with a carpet company. And, you know, when my uncle told him his last name, he asked my uncle, are you some kin of Samson Essex and Frank Essex? Samson Essex is my grandfather. And Frank yes, sir, is yes, my sir. uncle. Yes, sir. And my uncle was like, yeah, Samson, that's my father. He said, that's your father? He said, yeah. He said, you got the job. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's how I want my legacy to be, you know. My son and my descendants to, you know, get some benefit off my name, you know. So that's what I want. You know, when when people see when, when people see my son Farad, they say, hey, that's Brother Fred's son. Yes, sir. Give him yes, a free bean pie, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And I feel like I, I've never met your son, but I feel like I know him because of your Facebook page. So, yeah. so I look forward to meeting him and, and anything that any doors I can help him get in school or whatever I can do. It's a done deal, my friend. It's no, a done praise deal. Uh, likewise, when you start having some, it's <laughs> waiting on you, man. You the last of the Mohicans over there. Shit. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I think after Wally has some children, then I don't think I'm going to have some, bro, Fred. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so. Y'all ain't going to never have none. <laughs> hey, Wally, I love you, man. I love you, boy. Him and my son got the same name, so you know I love you. Yes, <laughs> Well, thank you, bro, Fred, for uh, giving, uh, being so transparent and giving us some great information and inspiration. We're going to put it on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe to People's Podcast. And uh, brother Fred, keep up the great work that you're doing, man. I, I'm, I really appreciate you. Lot. And uh, thank your family for their support and their sacrifice. But your son, man, man, he, man, I, I love to see you interact with your son, bro. It's powerful. Yeah, praise be to a lot, man. You know, one of the greatest things I recently did. We was talking about it before we came on live. You know, I, I gotta, you know, I gotta toot my own horn a little bit. <laughs> but this is one of the greatest accomplishments I've done in the nation thus far. Oh, man, man. yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I got a call from my big brother. I love him, brother Emil. He called me up and say, hey, man, you know, y'all still do carpet? Your family still do carpet? Like, yes, sir, brother Emil. He's like, man, uh, 
The minister said he want to walk out on white carpet for the fourth. And I said, man, white carpet? That's going to be hard to get, man. That's what I'm saying to myself. Yes, sir. But, you yes, know, sir. too many people don't buy white carpet. Yes, sir. So I said, yes, sir. He said, like, man, think you can come up and, you know, give him an estimate. Make a long story short, man. I, man, I, the minister, you know, gave me the okay for it. And, you know, I had to get the best of the best on that job, man. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to give a shout out to my cousin, Samson Jr., who's named yes, after my grandfather. Yes, sir. My cousin, my cousin Henry, my cousin Lorenzo, we went up there, man. And man, we talk about this every day, Chief. Every time we see each other, we talk about putting that carpet on that stage, man. It was a blessing. It was an honor, man, to see the minister walk out on something I had a part in. And man, I just wish my grandfather was alive, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I did it in his name, man. Allah I did it in his name. All praise is due to Allah, man. Yes, sir. So Beautiful. that's thus far, that's the my greatest accomplishment in the nation of Islam, man. That's that was an honor and a pleasure. And I thank my cousins, man, because without them, I couldn't have done that. So yes, I'll sir. I'll be forever grateful for them. You know, I just want to let them know if they watching, I love them for that. You know, and man, all praise is due to a lot, man. Praise be to a lot. And, and brother Fred, what's the name of the uh, of your carpet company, the family name? My um, grandfather, he named it Essex and Sons. Okay. So you know, all he had six sons. Four of them went into the business, and they took it and gave it to all their nephews and. Now we training up the next generation to take it even further, you know? Beautiful. So, man, all praise is due to a lot, man. Yes, sir. Amazing, man. Keep up the uh, great work. And anybody in the Chicago area, let's make sure we support our brother in his business. And all praise is due to a lot. Yes, sir. Man, jo hey, Josh, I just want to say this also. You know, when I first came into the mosque, man, I was around y'all, man. I yes, just want to thank y'all, man, for, you know, Y'all treated me like I, I've been knowing y'all all y'all all life, man. Cause all, it's all love, Y'all, y'all made me one of y'all, man. You yes, know, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, we used to be at the mosque every day, man. <laughs> every day, man. Every day, all day. Yes, sir. Me and, me and Benny used to talk to each other every day. You know, Benny. You know, he don't he don't love me no more. He don't call. <laughs> me. But you know, we used to be with each other every day. We had the next tail chirping each other, you know, yes, waking sir. each other up for fire and prayer, man. I needed that because if I didn't have that, you know, who knows where I would have been. I, yes, I probably would have walked out the door, you know. But that's what the minister said. He wants us to show love to each other, man. I yes, thank sir. a lot for all y'all. Man, thank a lot for you, Martin sir. Thank family, a lot for you, both sir. family, all the other brothers, Sydney, both Omars, all yeah, you know, yeah. the crew, man. The, the crew. crew, yes, sir. Y'all, all y'all showed me love, man. I love all of y'all for that. Man, we love you more, sir. And uh, shout out to them for uh, creating it, man. Just a great environment for us to always watch movies and be at Benny Jr.'s house, man. Just, it was right. just, it was a good time, man. It was a good time. Yeah, like that trip we went to um, D.C. The D.C., yes, sir. So yes, we, sir. Yeah, we go, you know. <laughs> I'll pray. But, you know, we went to work, though, man. You know, we went to work. And that, you know, the rest is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That was a great Howard homecoming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Praise me to a lot. Well, thank you, my friend, for coming to People's Podcast. Man, and man, anything I can do to support you, just let me know. All praise due to a lot. Same here, Josh. Man, I love you, man. Thank you. I love you more, sir. And thank yes, my friend, thank you for our supporting the drill team, too. You always show love oh, to the drill team. Absolutely, man. You know. I I I I leave that to y'all. <laughs> you know, give me some give me some carpet and a basketball. But other than that, y'all can have a drill. And, I, and speaking of oh, Fred, speaking of basketball, who you who you got uh, upcoming this upcoming season? You know, I don't really too much watch basketball no more, man. Oh damn! <laughs> I really don't watch it too much no more. It's, it ain't the same, you know. It ain't the same. Okay. It ain't the same. I need to start back watching it. For my son's sake, because he want to try to, you know, be like his old man. But you know, I'm the I'm the original. He the, he yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
but you know I'm trying to you know get them straight on basketball but this pandemic kind of slowed it down but I need to start back watching it because he know more about it than I do <laughs> man okay we're good well thank you my friend again and thank you all for watching the people's podcast yes sir Salam alaikum. Right. Like him, salam, sir.